Hey guys, Tony Smith with ATN. Uh, today we're going to update the firmware on the 4K Pro. To do that, we're going to need an SD card. Uh, this is a class 10 card. Uh, we need somewhere between a 4 and 64 gigabyte card. I use the SanDisk and I get the little adapter uh, so I can plug it straight into my computer because it does take a micro SD. Uh, I also, when I update it off my cell phone, which we're going to cover at the end of this video, uh, I use this little uh, SD card adapter to plug it into my phone so I can put the SD card into it and then plug it straight into the bottom of my phone. And again, I'm going to cover that in the end of the video. The first thing we're going to do is update it off the laptop. All right, guys, so we're going to go to the ATN web page. Just type in ATN Corp. We can go in through a direct firmware link right here, or we can go in through the main page. I'm going to go ahead and take you in through the main page. And just click on the 4K. We can scroll down just a little bit where it says manual and firmware. We're going to go ahead and click on the firmware. Now at this point we've got to sign in. I've already got a user's name uh, and an account account set up so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in but if you don't have one you need to go ahead and register now all right guys so I'm signed in I'm going to scroll down and if you look here it lists all the different optics we've got the 4k pro so the current firmware version is 3.1.04 0.330 so we're going to go ahead and click on that and you can see down here it's downloading our firmware is downloaded to the computer now we need to transfer it to the SD card so we're going to minimize this and we can go ahead and put our SD card into the laptop and we're going to go to start computer and if you look on the left side here, it says SD. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Now you can see that my SD card already has some folders. And we want to get rid of those because if this firmware winds up in a folder, it's not going to, the scope's not going to recognize it. So we're going to right click right there on the SD and go to where it says Format. Now you can see this little box that says quick format. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick format just so you guys don't have to wait 45 minutes for my uh, card to format. But it is recommended that you do a long format. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And it is going to delete everything off of that card. So if there's anything on that card that you want to save, you need to go ahead and get it off there before you format it. Okay, so now we can see there's nothing left on the card. It's completely blank. We're going to go over to our downloads. We're going to find our firmware version. Just click and hold down on it. And we're going to drag that over. And you can see it's highlighting. We're going to bring that to where it says SD card. It's got it highlighted. And we're just going to let go. Now we can go to our SD card. We do not want to open this. It can corrupt the file. We're just going to leave it right like this. And at this point, we're going to eject our SD card. So we're going to click and eject the SD card. And now at this point, we're going to take the SD card out and put it into the scope. So we're going to go back to the scope now. All right, guys, with our 4K off, we're going to insert our SD card with our firmware version on it. We're going to power it on and we should get a prompt to do a firmware update. So we're going to go ahead and click yes.
Our unit's gonna power off. All right, so our firmware is updated. We're gonna hit the center button. We're gonna hit the center button again. And we're gonna go to photos and videos. The first thing I like to do is reformat my SD card and take that firmware version back off of there. So we're just gonna go to yes. And it's just gonna confirm that we wanna delete everything off of it. Now that we've got that done, we're gonna go over to settings. We're gonna scroll down to restore factory settings. It's gonna power itself off and back on. Now we need to go back in and set everything back up. I'm going to turn my screen brightness down just a little bit just to uh, get the camera to focus a little better. We're going to go to settings. We're going to set our device type, which is a 3x14. That's what my unit is. We're going to go up to date and time. I'm going to go ahead and change mine to a 12 hour format. You don't have to hit enter every time my fingers are not working very well. 